what is up YouTube, you have your boy Crew Chips here, bringing you another commentary, yes that's right, you heard it right, C-R-E-W-C-H-W-I-P-S is here again, he's back, and he's doing another commentary, just like he used to in the good old days. It's been forever since I brought you guys any sort of content, and I am proud to say that I am here to bring you more, um, now, yes. It has been, I think, since February since I brought you something because I think the last thing I uploaded was a Super Bowl recap commentary, and I I kind of felt bad for my from a clan, my guys, because I was a pretty constant uploader, and all of a sudden I just I just stopped, and I've just I've just been doing a lot lately, and I do apologize, and I realized that if you're on my channel and you're watching this, thank you, um you know I. I'd be very surprised. I felt like I probably lost most of my fan base. I built up something so great, and then I just I just got busy with other stuff, and I had no time. But I am going to be jumping back more on Xbox and on YouTube. I told my guys that if they ever needed me to get them a video, I got them. And Joe, my boy, THD, he was like, yo, Chips, get me a video. And I was like, dude, I totally got you right here. And look at this. I got him. I'm going to get you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and jump right in what's going on. A um, little bit of story time if I can fit it in. It's a pretty long commentary. I hope you guys can sit through it. going to tell you what to be expected from me since I am coming back, and then I'll jump into a story that what's been happening with me recently. Uh, something pretty crazy actually happened to me last Sunday, depending on when you're watching this. So let's go ahead and jump right in what, what I'm going to be doing later on in the near future. All right. Basically, I've always been kind of like the zombies guy. Uh, you know, yeah, there were, there were always other people in the zombies game, but I was the one recording, doing the zombies, coming up with the ideas. Zombies was like my thing. And I'm going to be jumping all over that again. I think I was told that the new maps for Zombies are coming out the 16th. And I do plan on jumping all over those and getting you guys tons of content on it. Spots, glitches, literally anything you guys want on those zombie maps. You can definitely expect from me. I'm going to be trying to jump all over that. I'm going to be, you know, a mob in that. Just like I used to every other single Zombies map. I know you guys enjoyed that. And I'm going to get that to you guys because it's what you guys enjoy. And I'm going to give you guys what you like, right? I mean, come on. So expect that from me. You know, if you're watching this on my channel, maybe expect more Madden. Just because I, I can never get enough of Madden. Uh, probably about it. I don't think I'm going to be expanding to any more games right now. Because I don't plan to get anything new in the like super near future. So be expecting zombies galore. I am giving you guys zombies. You will see zombies from me recorded straight from me, by me, from me, originality from me. Zombies, 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 and I really hope you guys enjoy it, and I really do hope you guys are happy to have me back to watch my commentaries. I hope you guys enjoyed what I did, and I hope you guys are pumped for Crew Chips to be back in the house. Let's go. Go ahead and uh, jump right into some story. Uh, one quick little story. We got seven-ish minutes left, so let's see how much I can fit in in these seven-ish minutes. All right, let's go. All right, Sunday. Uh, let's see, today's the 9th, it's Tuesday, so two days ago, 7th, uh, April 7th, uh, I was working from 11 to 3, got off early, got off at 2.30, and I was gonna go straight to my girlfriend's house, right, and I was on my way, I was on Woodruff Road, and Woodruff Road in the state of South Carolina in the city of Greenville is a very, very busy road, um, especially at around lunchtime, which is around the time that I was leaving, and I was, you know, always crammed, bumper to bumper traffic, uh, going through intersections, and we were going through a major intersection, and I was, you know, bumper to bumper, and they stopped. I don't know, honestly, don't know how fast I was going. Could have been going 10, 20. I don't be very surprised if it was 20. And in my little 97 Toyota Corolla, I rear-ended a who knows what year Toyota 4Runner. So my small car rear-ended an SUV. Basically, my car, the, the, my hood went up into my engine, the radiator was like bent back, the, I think the right light was completely gone, I don't, I don't even know where it went, like I think it was in pieces on the ground beside my car, um, there was antifreeze leaking all over the ground, the power steering liquid was all gone, uh, you know, who else knows what else was wrong with that engine, uh, oh yeah, and the airbags deployed, but the only really bad thing about the airbags was it like scared the, it scared the crap out of me, like out of nowhere, just boom, airbags, I was like, shit, you know? Like, go, fuck, yeah, it's just one of those reactions, you know, and honestly, I don't know what it was, but I didn't, at first, the first thing that came to my head was just like, you know, no car, you know, I was just, I was just mainly disappointed in the fact of not having a car, 
Now, most people may be thinking about money and stuff, and I mean, maybe if, definitely if I was an adult, that'd be the first thing that come to my head. But even my parents weren't all that frustrated about it because I don't know how much it's gonna cost insurance-wise because we're it's not gonna cost anything to fix our car because it was totaled. We already scrapped it. I'm having to work on buying a new car myself. I got a few plans in mind, but you know, kind of up in the air. Um, really hoping I can get a cheap car really soon because I can't go without a car. But yeah, um, no one was hurt, thankfully. My, my car obviously got the worst of the damage. It ended up being a four-car accident. A uh, forerunner hit some other car. I think it hit like a newer Impala, and the Impala hit like I don't know a CRV maybe, and that was the end of the you know accident trail. Um, obviously, my car got the worst of the damage, then followed by the Forerunner Impala CRV. Um, the Forerunner wasn't really that bad. The bumper did have some a lot of scratches on it, but I mean, depending on the person, the scratches scratches aren't that big of a deal. But it was pretty bad, so I would expect him to want a new bumper. And I don't know exactly if that's gonna happen, but if it is, it is. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, the Impala had like practically nothing on it and the CRV had practically nothing on it and they didn't really make that big of a deal of it thankfully uh, I love people like that I hate it when people are like oh I got one little scratch on my bumper you best be powder paying for this and I'm just like what the fuck bitch you know and they weren't like that and I'm happy about that but the people I hit in front of me what made me mad was as soon as I got in the accident as soon as it happened as soon as I put that car in parking I was out of my car I went straight up to their window and I made sure they were okay it was two maybe teenage girls maybe 20s I don't know they were young and I made sure they were okay um, to me that was my number one concern is if I injured anyone and they were fine um, the worst injury there was my bloody nose and it wasn't even that bad so I was like sweet they're fine but what made me mad was when the cop got there and asked them how they were they all of a sudden were like in pain they started to cry they said they one of the girls the one that was in the passenger seat said she had just gotten in a car accident like months ago and like she thinks she might have whiplash and maybe some brack problems they said they wanted to get x-rays and they even got their car towed and i'm just like are you serious right now i didn't i didn't say this obviously because that'd be super rude but i was thinking that and i was I, I couldn't believe it you know if they you know 30 minutes ago they were perfectly fine everything was everything was fine i mean i don't know why they got their car towed like their car was perfectly drivable um, scratches on the bumper, big whoop de doo If anyone needed a tow truck, it was me. That's who I thought they called it for. And at first, I was pretty mad. I was like, "Why are you calling me a tow truck? I think I should get to choose who tows my car, because towing companies vary in price. Normally, towing a car is pretty expensive, so it should be my decision." But no, it was for them. So I was kind of, I was really, I, I, that made no sense in my eyes. So everything was resolved pretty quickly. Um, I've never been in a wreck before, so I didn't know how long to expect for it to take. Um, I did end up getting a ticket, but it was only for $100, surprisingly. For, I mean, I thought it was going to be way worse. I didn't know what to expect, but apparently it was like originally 200 and something dollars and got it down to minimum 100 So, woohoo. Cool cop guy. Um, court date, June 6th, 10 o'clock in the morning, somewhere in Simpsonville. Going to be going to that. And hopefully, I'm going to be having a car by then. And back on the roads, woohoo. Um, thankfully my parents aren't that mad, they understand, accidents happen. Um, uh, my dad said my main punishment was having to find another car for cheap, quick, because they're not gonna help me get a car until I graduate, which isn't for another year. So, pray for me there, guys. But, that's pretty much the end of the story. I know I kind of rushed it, and maybe if I would've done a full commentary and nothing but the story would've been a little bit better. But, I hope you guys are pumped for me coming back. I hope you guys are pumped for nothing but super great zombie content from me. Because you know I won't just put out crap content. I'm only going to post the greatest quality over quantity, guys. That's my motto. Let's go. I hope you guys are pumped for Crew Chips 2013. Let's go. Even though oof, he was kind of already here in 2013. He's coming back. Crew Chips. Coming back 2013. C to R E W C H I I P S. Crew Chips. Here we go. We're going to be dropping it soon. Um, get pumped, and I'm pretty sure me and my boy Crew Bolts, um, as of a long time ago, we were doing a remix over a song, and I don't know why we had never finished it, but you know what? He's gonna watch this, and he's gonna see this, and 20 bucks as he hits me up, and he's like, bro, let's finish that song, and I'll be like, let's go, because we were almost finished last time we worked on it. So, be pumped for that if that ever comes out. I don't want to guarantee it, but if it ever does, it's gonna be insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. 
and I hope you come back for more and maybe hit the subscribe button uh, maybe the like button and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe I'll put a picture of my car at the end of this um, you know what I don't think I'll be able to get the picture of the car no, maybe an I'll, I'll, I'll put the picture of the car at the end of the video what my damage was hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, if you got to see the picture of the car at the end of the video and you made it all the way through the 10 minutes uh, tell me what you think about my car but until later I'll be seeing you guys crew chips is signing out for the first time in months and he's proud too. peace